Let's look at this incident again, keeping the rules for safety in mind. How's it going? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Yeah, some type of fluid leaking out of the rear of your trailer. Yeah, uh, I'll be doing. What are you carrying back there? Yeah, I got some, some sulfuric acid and some paint. Could, uh, could I look at your uh, papers? Sure. And I want me to see your driver's license and registration also. Where are you coming from? Coming out of Philadelphia. When was the last time you made a stop? Yeah, up at the rest area. I had to take a short break. Did you notice anything leaking at no. that? No. Okay, then. All right. All right, we definitely got something leaking out of it right now. All right, let's go take a look at it. Well, why don't you stay here, and uh, I'll make some checks, and I'll be right back. OK. Later. This time, the officer has obtained information about the truck's load. When the driver becomes contaminated, the officer is prepared. Scout 830. Scout 830. Scout 830, the vehicle I've stopped has contained several hazardous materials. The driver has been contaminated and the fumes are being released. I'm going to need, dis I'm going to need rescue dispatch and two additional units for traffic. Scott 830, 840, will be dispatched. Fire rescue has been notified. 1550. 10 for advising to approach from the south end. Also, advising you ready to copy for shipping materials. Stand by 187. Scott 830, go ahead with your traffic. Scott 830, advise Chemtrack the materials are paint, which is UN 1263. That's uniform November 1263. Sulfuric acid, which is a corrosive material, UN 1830. That's uniform November 1830. Last materials in agricultural fungicide. And last 30 boys on the scene fair looks like we got some kind of chemical. Using the shipping papers, the police officer is able to provide information to his dispatcher, which will give the necessary information to Chemtrack to provide assistance. Also, if you can, we'd like you to start stopping okay. traffic up here about a quarter of a mile right, back or so. The the okay, Sam, why don't we go ahead and get suited up? The officer was able to use the shipping papers to provide valuable and accurate on the scene information to his dispatcher and to the ambulance crew. Okay, you got an acid on you? No, I breathe some of it. You breathe some of it? Yes, sir. I don't love it. Here. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I have trouble breathing. All right, could you lay down for me? Yeah. The patient is stable, and until further information is available, the ambulance crew is following safe procedure. Another situation under control. The ambulance crew is safe. The patient is getting appropriate treatment. The slight delay in actually beginning care is important to ensure the safety of all concerned. Further caution will be taken to avoid contaminating the ambulance during transport. The hospital will be notified, and if necessary, the decontamination protocol will be used in handling the patient and ensuring that the ambulance has been properly cleaned before going back in service. The victim may be washed down at the scene prior to transport in order to reduce the effect of the hazardous material on him and to help prevent contamination of others. The five safety rules were key to proper handling of this incident. First responders protected themselves and approached the incident properly. The hazards were properly identified. The scene was secured. Further information and assistance was obtained. And the first responders avoided contact with any hazardous materials.